uh, next and the last game we're going to talk about is Seahawks versus Vikings. The Seahawks are 5-0. and They did win a nail-biter in this one. The offense in the first half was pretty atrocious, to be honest. Uh, we've seen this offense be so high-powered the entire year. Russell Wilson uh, looked like an, uh, the, M- the clear MVP so far. Uh, but in the first half, they had like a total of about 65 yards of total offense. It was just a bad, bad look for them. Uh, but in the second half, they definitely turned it up. Uh, right out of the gates in the third quarter, they scored 21 points. They were way better in this in that third quarter. And Russell Wilson overall didn't have a great game at all uh, with only 217 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception. But he did rush for uh, 58 yards on the ground. And Chris Carson did have uh, 52 yards and a touchdown. Uh, and then DK Metcalf has completely just gone off this season. He had a really uh, nice game in this one. 93 yards, two touchdowns. He had the touchdown late in game uh, to secure the win for the Seahawks. And other than that fumble, he's basically had a perfect year so far. He's looked like one of the best receivers in the NFL. And him and Tyler Lockett make up one of the best uh, receiving tandems in the entire NFL and just make this offense so high-powered, which was why it was just so weird to see them uh, be so bad in the first half because this offense is so talented. And, yeah, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, great uh, receivers for Russell Wilson, and he's always going to hit them in the right spot. Uh, and the defense the defense just simply isn't very good uh, this year at all. But K.J. Wright did have a pretty big interception in this one uh, as the Vikings were marching down the field a bit. But he stopped that, got an interception. That was nice to see. Uh, and they did get uh, three sacks in this one, which you obviously uh, like as much pressure as you can get on the quarterback. And even though this Vikings team isn't great, they're a team that can compete. So... It was good to see the Seahawks win this game. Even though it was a close one, they had to deal with some adversary uh, with them struggling so much in the first half, but it was good to see them in the second half. And uh, on the Vikings side, Kirk Cousins, uh, he's just been pretty bad this year, to be totally honest. He only has one more touchdown than he does interceptions. He had 249 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception in this one. Honestly, I think it's time, just like for the Falcons, I think it's time for them to move on from Kirk Cousins. I think they need to go in uh, in a youth direction, get a young quarterback, maybe even if they're going to sit behind Kirk Cousins for a year. With how bad they're playing this year, I think it's just time to move on. Uh, But the running game for the Vikings is always going to be good because Dalvin Cook uh, is just so, so talented. He did get injured, which is a huge, huge hit to the Uh, this team for sure but when he's healthy he's by far and easily one of the best running backs in the nfl he had 65 yards and a touchdown in this one and then in his absence alexander uh, madison came in and had a massive game with 20 carries for 112 yards he was really really good in this one adam thielen had 80 yards and two touchdowns and i mean overall this team uh just hasn't looked good to start the season so far the defense is something that uh, makes sense now looking at it, why they're bad. But I just didn't really uh, fully grasp uh, that they were going to be this bad. Their secondary is really, really bad. They have a, a huge hole at the corner position. And they're just a pretty disappointing team so far. Kirk Cousins hasn't looked great. He uh, did have two fumbles in this one. And one of them they didn't recover. And they, like I said, they've just been disappointing. But it was nice to see them compete with the Seahawks. Even though... I wouldn't even say this. it was them being super great. It was more just the Seahawks struggling, and they proved in the second half that they're the much better team.